Okay, so the city of Marysville declaring an emergency after a fire Saturday night has left the historic Marysville Hotel a public safety concern and transportation nightmare for the city. And we've been covering this all week on ABC 10, that building a total loss, and that's impacting a large part of the city. ABC 10's Devin Truby is live from Marysville. So Devin, the press conference wrapping up just moments ago, what have you learned so far? Yeah, Jordan, the city says this has completely tapped all of their resources, police, fire, even with the assistance of Caltrans. That's why they're calling for the state of emergency to get Cali OS in here and to have their help. They said their ability to handle this situation, it ended about two days ago. But I want you to take a look at the current setup that they do have. They have these barricades about 105 feet from the building all the way around the perimeter in case the building should fall. Hopefully this would keep everyone out of the impact zone in terms of the building itself. It just has that small seven foot fence and it's been hard to keep people out. In fact, there was an incident on Wednesday where the police chief tackled a man with a knife that was inside the building. He was arrested. Now the city is waiting for a demolition company to arrive Monday to give them an estimate of both the cost and the time frame to get the city back to being fully functional. But there's some issue over who's going to pay for it. The city manager called out the building owner Urban Smart Growth for saying that they only have limited liability insurance when the city says that they actually do have the resources to make this right. But the city couldn't end up being the ones to pay for the demolition. The owner right now are paying for security to patrol the area, but in terms of traffic closures, they remain at State Highway 70 and the East Streets Corridor. There are signs from Natomas to Chico diverting trucks that use this route. Now, multiple buildings here along East Street and Fifth Street Corridor have to close due to their doors and their business being in the impact zone just to keep everyone safe. The city is speaking with Cal OES right now to find out what those next steps are, but there is still no time frame on when the city can return to normal. The city also said they cannot even quantify how much money it's costing them to keep this operation going with police, fire and transportation every single day. Reporting live in Marysville, Devin Truby, ABC 10. Yeah, significant changes in just a week to the city of Marysville. All right, Devin, thank you.